Hi everybody, so I figured that I would just kind of take you on the day with me a little bit. Um, it is December 23rd, and I'm just going to be doing a few errands today. Um, so I'm going to be going to Barnes & Noble to get the book that Emily Veganflower recommended, which is, what's it called? Pound for Pound, I think? By Elizabeth Hopp. I completely probably got that wrong because I have horrible memory. Um, and then I'm going to also order... Eating in the Light of the Moon, which Anastasia recommended, um, but that's not in store anywhere by me. So I'm going to order that, and then I am going to Trader Joe's, stopping at a local supermarket, and then I will be having my tea date tonight. So I'll try and bring you along for as much as possible. I might probably, because I'm shy, <laughs> probably just end up sending you snippets of the day instead of like actively engaging in everything. Um, but I'll try and bring you along for as much as possible. So I'm just going to be picking up a few things from Trader Joe's for Christmas, just like hors d'oeuvres and stuff. And I'm going to try and get my family to eat vegetarian. So I will see you guys later. Bye. Didn't, didn't stop. <laughs> All right, so it, I haven't even gotten to the supermarket yet, my local one. I've gone to Trader Joe's and Barnes and Noble so far, and I figured I'd show you what I got. I'm about to stop at, off at home because the drive, the drive home from Trader Joe's is like an hour because of traffic. So I got the book, Pound for Pound, which is right here. And let me turn this around. Oh, can I do that? I guess I can't. Um, so I'm going to just put the back here. And then if you guys want to read what it's about, you can like pause the video and read that. And then in terms of the stuff that I had gotten from Trader Joe's, um, it's not going to be a very veggie Christmas. My mom asked for some specific things. But I got some peppermint pretzel sticks. Oh, person's coming. Awkward. I got lots of cheese, so I got this cheddar cheese with some Parmesan in it. It's called Unexpected Cheddar. I got some Colby Jack um, and Harvard tea as well. So I have that all, and then I will show you the rest because that was kind of covering everything. So my mom asked for some pigs in a blanket. I got some um, pastry bites with feta cheese and caramelized onion, some super sauce for my parents, some pepperoni, spanakopita, and bagel bites. And I don't know if you were able to see any of that, but hopefully you were. And um, I'm going to run home, so hoping this none of this food went bad. And yeah, so I will see you guys in a later, and then I'm in, in a later. I'll see you guys later, and then I'm going to possibly run to the supermarket. I don't know. I'm hoping my mom will make the trip. I kind of feel bad, <laughs> but I didn't expect traffic to be that bad. I knew it was obviously going to be bad, but this place is 15 minutes from my, 20 minutes from my home at most, like 20 minutes with traffic and it's been an hour. So I have to get home. So I will see you guys later. Bye. Okay. So it's nine o'clock, a little after 10 after nine right now. And I only just got home. I've been running around all day. Um, I basically got home from Trader Joe's, went back out, and then went to dinner, and then went back out. to From dinner, we went to the grocery store. And right now, I should be getting ready, but I think I'm just going to go over there looking like a spazzy bum and make tea or and drink it. And then we're also making amaretto cookies, I think. So I'm excited. Um, yeah, I am struggling right now. I had a pretty big dinner and it just, I can't really purge it right now. Um, I don't want to take a laxative because I don't want it to ruin my holiday. So... I don't know. I mean, I guess I technically could purge it, but my mom's been like asking me a lot of questions lately and I just don't want to have to tell her. So I'm going to wait till later. Um, 
and maybe, I don't know. But I am, I don't know what I should do right now. I'm trying to decide if I should just shower and then just get back into bummy clothes or what. But today's been a pretty, um, all right day. Um, like I said, I binged twice earlier and purged once and right now I just really want to purge. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where I'm at now and I'll check back in with you guys later when I'm making tea. I'll probably just give you like a quick snippet of the tea. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, so it is almost 10 o'clock now. I'm headed, headed, I'm headed to my friends um, to have the tea and whatever. Um, so I didn't last long from, at first of all, in the last video, I think I had something in my teeth. I saw, I also noticed my teeth are crooked, which is so annoying because I definitely had braces. Um, but the point of this video is that I did purge. I didn't last much longer, <clears throat> much longer after that last video. Um, my chest is kind of hurting me though, still. So that's alarming. Sorry. <laughs> that's alarming. Um, usually it's like died down by now, but whatever. Um, I'm really cold right now. I'm really, just, the only thing that really annoys me Oh, I'm shaking. Is that I feel like, sorry, let me switch back to this hand. Um, I just don't want my hands to get scarred up again. And it kind of, they're like definitely on their way. And I'm just also so annoyed because, I don't know. It's weird because to be honest, I'm, I feel so relieved that I did it. And I know for like probably up until the day after New Year's, I'm probably going to be binging and purging a lot because like I said, New Year's is a really, really hard time for me. <clears throat> um, and it's something I haven't dealt with. Um, we're kind of talking around the topic in therapy, but we're not actually talking about the topic. And what was the point of this? So in a way, like I, I feel relieved, like my anxiety is down um, blah, 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 but in the same sense, I'm like, I had a mark that I purged on my thing for the dietitian, and that's really annoying, and especially because I was doing so well for a long time, I, like, I went nine days purge-free, and, and then I did, like, I had, like, a slip-up for, like, a couple days, and then I went, like, three days, and then now it's just kind of, like, steady again with me purging, and that's just so... Like, that's hard to see. Um, but in my mind, I don't know which way, like, I want to, like, my, I think I have some of my rational mind a little bit. Sorry, I still have a mint in my mouth. Because, like, a part of me is like, oh, you lost the streak. But now, like, now the next part of me is like, but you're starting another streak. And let's see how long, how many days you can go purging. I don't know. And then I... I just, I don't know how honest I want to get in this. Uh, um, I don't know. Basically, like, I guess I'll, I'll just be honest. I'll be so upfront and embarrassingly honest. I think a lot of people do it. I don't know. I do it. Um, <clears throat> but basically, like I said, is I was nervous about my parents, um, like hearing me and blah, 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 blah. So I did it in my bedroom, which I obviously don't, well, not obviously, but I don't have a bathroom in my bedroom. So that's like what, that's what gets me is like when I'm throwing up in a bag. Um, I don't know why, like in my head, like throwing up into a bag is so much worse than throwing up into a toilet. Like any other day in my life like I would have chosen to have my head in a bag than oh you know like in a toilet but for some reason like that 
being in a bag is like a lot harder for me to accept because I think I guess it's just that like if it's in a toilet like I could say I'm sick but if it's like I'm throwing up into a bag like I can't really I mean obviously I can say I'm sick but like I guess that was the point for me like the first time I ever did it that was the point for me where I was like well I have a problem and so I guess every time I like throw up into a bag or something I'm like oh this is going south fast um so I don't know it's just kind of it is what it is I did it I feel relieved of anxiety but now <laughs> I don't know um i'm in like an isolated um parking lot right now so i'm gonna head out um have some tea soothe my throat and <laughs> um i'll see you guys later i'll probably show you guys some of the tea and um yeah so bye he doesn't have to just comes out the side here oh Hi guys, um, sorry it is dark. I just got back from my friend's house. It's about 2 in the morning. So it's officially Christmas Eve. Um, Christmas Eve is kind of the bigger holiday in my family versus Christmas. So that's good. It's going to be a hard one this year because this will be our first one without my grandpa who usually is obviously with us. Um, but I just got back from my friend's house and I had a good time. She is, I've known her since... I don't know if it was kindergarten or third grade, but definitely third grade. And she's a really great friend. And um, she's very good in like empathizing, but not pretending like she understands what I'm actually going through, if that makes sense. Because I have so many, not so many people, <laughs> but I just feel like <sighs> there's only really two people who like know about my eating disorder. And one of them is just very like, I understand what you're going through. Like, I understand what you're going through. Um, and I just want to be like, you don't understand. And I don't want you to understand, but you don't understand. And I appreciate like your sympathy, but I just would much rather have your empathy. Um, and she's just really good at empathizing with me. And she doesn't push anything. She doesn't, she just does things when I'm ready to do them. Um, she just reads me very well, so I really appreciate that, and yeah, she was even my go-to <laughs> on my therapist to call list, and the one day she just didn't want me to go home by myself. Um, my family was away, and she just was like, I just don't trust you, I just think you're going to be impulsive. Um, she didn't think I was going to hurt myself, obviously, because otherwise she would have sent me to the hospital, but she just didn't want me to be by myself, so... I went to hers um, until my parents were home and then obviously I went with my parents and she's just a really great friend and she understands me and she gets me and um, my dog is like trying to what is she doing she's crazy anyway um, yeah I'm just gonna leave it at that she's a really great friend and I'm very blessed to have her and um, I like our little Christmas tree Christmas tea tradition um, I feel like I'm saying I'm a lot, but I'm going to go now. It is actually really nice outside, so I kind of want to stay out here, but it's probably like a quarter after two now, so I'm going to go. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and I will see you soon. Bye.